Welcome to this session of my video series. The process of arranging a list in ascending or descending order is called sorting. Bubble sort is one of the most elementary sorting algorithms. It is not very efficient, but it surely provides a good exercise for a programmer. We'll see how to implement this algorithm with C. Suppose this is a list of numbers that has to be sorted in increasing order. It can be done by using the bubble sort algorithm. Start from the left side and compare the first two items. If the first is larger, then swap them. This is how the list looks like now. Next compare the next two items, and swap if required. The list still looks like the same because no swapping was required. Compare the next two now. This process is repeated till the last element. This process on all the elements is called a pass. We have completed the first pass just now. Multiple passes are required for getting the entire list sorted. The sorting process is stopped after a pass when no swapping was done. These passes are repeated till the list gets sorted. Let's begin by writing two utility functions to help us. This function will help us print the contents of the array. The array to be printed and the number of elements are the parameters. A for loop is used to print the contents of the array. The second function is for swapping two parameters. But the swapping is done only if x is greater than y. The function returns true if the swapping was done. And it returns false if swapping was not done. Returns true if swapping was done. This is an implementation of the algorithm. There are many ways to write this code. This is one of them. These are our utility functions. I have folded their code so that I can show the full main function on this screen. Here we have initialized an array and printed it as well. This helps us see the array before sorting. This is an infinite while loop. It will allow us to keep doing the passes till the array is sorted. This variable will be used to indicate whether at least one swapping was done. Before running a pass we will set it to false. And, if at any time during the pass, a pair is swapped, it will be set to true.
if no swapping was done then the list is sorted completely. So we break out of the while loop. This for loop runs so that all adjacent pairs are compared. And, if some swapping occurs, we set the swapping variable to true. Lastly, print the swapped array. This is the output of the code. The first line is the array before swapping. The last line is the array after it has been swapped. Thank you.